Hi guys, this is Richard at Sweet and Circuit. This is just a quick video to show um, where the connectors are on a uh, Mini Countryman R60 1.6 turbo. So this is your engine bay here, and uh, the chip uses uh, two sensors. You've got one for the uh, map sensor here, which is coming off the turbo, and then we've got the other map sensor for the inlet manifold, which is underneath this. To get to it, there's just one bolt here. It's got um, a Torx uh, fitting on it, T20 if I remember correctly. We just need to undo that. Um, I would also recommend just unclipping this uh, MAF sensor here before you lift this up, just to make sure nothing gets pulled on this cable. Um, so that's it really. I'm just going to uh, remove it now and uh, I'll try and show you where the MAF sensor is underneath the, uh, the air box. Uh, one thing I would say, just make sure that you uh, switch off the engine switch off the ignition for a couple of minutes before you uh, unplug the sensor. I'm going to pick this up, it's a bit dark. Okay, so when you take the air filter up, you're probably going to get about this far because it uh, gets, um, you've got the scuttle panel here, but it shouldn't really be much of an issue. I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up, but the, um, the map sensor is just, no, I don't think it's going to pick it up. But the map sensor is just at the end of my fingertips here, and this is your cable here. So um, basically this is the original mini cable here and the, the race chip cable goes in between the original cable and the uh, sensor. Basically the same philosophy on all the, the chips regardless of car. Um, so that's it, this is uh, what it would look like. You don't think you need to pull it out any further than that. My hands are quite big but I can get under it. Um, and then you've just got the clip here. You pull this back and then push it down and that's how the clip comes out. Mama moving on up to the